age of rocks, magnetic reversal, how do these evidences support and explain seafloor spreading? Hello, SciPals! I am Ma'am Monica A. Hardin, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hab, we are going to trace how the seafloor spreading theory was developed by scientists. We will identify the different evidences that support the seafloor spread. We will also explain how these evidences support seafloor spread. Finally, we will appreciate the significance of these evidences in the theory of plate tectonics. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another ah moment. There are theories that support the Earth's mechanism. One of these is the Continental Drift Theory, which has been discussed in Episode 6 of Agham Alam Hab, entitled, Evidences Supporting the Continental Drift Theory. Despite the evidences presented by Wegener in his theory, his idea that continents were once joined together was not accepted by the scientific society until the 1960s. That is because he wasn't able to explain how this drifting took place. This made scientists conduct further studies in search for the answer. During the World War II, geologists employed by the military carried out studies of the seafloor, a part of the Earth that had received little scientific study. The purpose of these studies was to understand the topography of the seafloor and to find hiding places for both allied and enemy submarines. In the 1950s and 1960s, new techniques and modern gadgets enabled scientists to make better observations and gather new information about the ocean floor. With the use of sonars and submersibles, scientists had a clearer view of the ocean floors. They have discovered underwater features deep within the ocean. Scientists found a system of ridges or mountains in the seafloor similar to those found in the continents. These are called mid-ocean ridges. One of these is the famous Mid-Atlantic Ridge, an undersea mountain chain in the Atlantic Ocean. It has a gigantic cleft about 32 to 48 km long and 1.6 km deep. The ridge is offset by a fracture zone or rift valleys. In the early 1960s, scientist Harry Hess, together with Robert Dietz, suggested an explanation to the continental drift. This is the seafloor spreading theory. According to this theory, Hot, less dense material from below the Earth's crust rises towards the surface at the mid-ocean ridge. This material flows sideways, carrying the seafloor away from the ridge and creates a crack in the crust. The magma flows out of the crack, cools down, and becomes the new seafloor. Over time, the new oceanic crust pushed the old oceanic crust far from the ridge. The process of seafloor spreading allowed the creation of new bodies of water. For example, the Red Sea was created as the African plate and the Arabian plate moved away from each other. Seafloor spreading is also pulling the continents of Australia, South America, and Antarctica away from each other in the East Pacific rise. The East Pacific Rise is one of the most active sites of seafloor spreading, with more than 14 centimeters every year. 
in the place where two oceanic plates collide or where an oceanic plate and a continental plate collide, a subduction zone occurs. As the new seafloor is formed at the mid-ocean ridge, the old seafloor farthest from the ridge is destroyed at the subduction zone. The rate of formation of a new seafloor is not always as fast as the destruction of the old seafloor at the subduction zone. This explains why the Pacific Ocean is getting smaller and why the Atlantic Ocean is getting wider. If subduction is faster than the seafloor spreading, the ocean shrinks. When the seafloor spreading is greater than the subduction, then the ocean gets wider. Ah! There are different evidences that explain and support the seafloor spreading theory. One of these evidences is the age of rocks. Through this simple experiment, let us demonstrate how the age of rocks differ across the seafloor. The materials you'll need in this experiment are bond paper filled with horizontal stripes and an old folder. Pull the ends of the strips and watch what happens at the center slit. The middle slit represents the mid-ocean ridges. Side slits show the subduction zone and the stripes represent the polarity of the rocks. The light portion is the normal polarity, while the dark portion is the reverse polarity. These are the findings that relate the age of rocks to the seafloor spreading theory. First, rocks are younger at the mid-ocean ridge. Second, rocks far from the mid-ocean ridge are older. Third, Sediments are thinner at the ridge. And lastly, rocks at the ocean floor are younger than those at the continents. The seafloor spreading theory contradicts a part of the continental drift theory. According to this, continents move through unmoving oceans and that larger and sturdier continents broke through the oceanic crust. Whereas, the seafloor spreading shows that the ocean is the actual site of the tectonic activity. Ah! Another evidence that supports the seafloor spreading is the magnetic reversal or magnetic evidence in rocks. Seafloor spreading was strengthened with the discovery that the magnetic rocks near the ridge follow a pattern aside from the fact that rocks near the ridge are remarkably younger than those farther from the ridge. A magnetic compass tells us the directions on Earth. It also proves that the Earth has a magnetic field. Its magnetic field is generated in the very hot molten outer core and has already existed since the birth of our planet. The Earth's magnetic field is a dipole, meaning it has a north and a south pole. Through this simple experiment, let us demonstrate the effect of Earth's magnetic field on a piece of metal or a pin. The materials you'll need in this experiment are needle, magnet, plastic bottle cup, shallow dish filled with water, and compass. Using a magnet, rub it along the needle in the same direction for 20 times. Slowly place the plastic bottle cup at the center, then place the needle on top of it. Watch as the bottle cup begins to spin around until the needle is pointing on the north direction, just like a compass. How does the experiment work? The needle became magnetized after rubbing the magnet against it. 
and once magnetized, it will have a north and south pole exactly like other magnets. The plastic bottle cap on the water surface was able to move freely after it was submerged. The magnetized needle then forced the plastic bottle cap to spin around until the needle's north and south poles aligned with the Earth's north and south poles. Magnetic reversal, also called magnetic flip of the Earth, happens when the geographic north pole is transformed into a south magnetic pole or vice versa. This is due to the change in the direction of flow in the outer core. Magnetic reversals happened many times in the past. The occurrence of magnetic reversals can be explained through the magnetic patterns in magnetic rocks, especially those found in the ocean floor. When lava solidifies, iron-bearing minerals crystallize. As this crystallize, the minerals behave like tiny compasses and align with the Earth's magnetic field. So when magnetic reversal occurs, there is also a change in the polarity of the rocks. This allowed scientists to visualize the magnetic stripes in the ocean floor, similar to this, and to construct this magnetic polarity time scale. Over the last 10 million years, there has been an average of 4 to 5 reversals per million years. Thus, New rocks are added to the ocean floor at the ridge with approximately equal amounts on both sides of the oceanic ridge. The stripes on both sides are of equal size and polarity which seem to be mirror images across the ocean ridge. What does this indicate? That's right! It indicates that indeed, the seafloor is spreading. Ah! Time is as deep as the ocean, and there is a plenty of more to explore. Seafloor spreading disproves an early part of the theory of continental drift, wherein they originally theorized that the continents move through unmoving oceans. Seafloor spreading proves that the ocean itself is a site of tectonic activity. Learning the theory of seafloor spreading allows us to gain deeper understanding of the Earth's mechanism. Evidences in seafloor spreading pave the way for a bold, new scientific theory, the plate tectonics theory that underpins our entire understanding of how the Earth moves. It can be used to gaze back in time and see what the Earth was like in the past, as well as to forecast what our planet's future may hold. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hab, we have traced how the seafloor spreading theory was developed by scientists. In the early 1960s, scientist Harry Hess, together with Robert Dietz, suggested a contradictory explanation to the continental trip. According to them, the seafloor spreading shows that the ocean is the actual site of tectonic activity. We also learned the different evidences that support the seafloor spreading, the age of rocks, and the magnetic reversal. Age of rocks explain and support seafloor spreading since it was discovered that rocks at the mid-ocean ridge are younger while rocks far from the mid-ocean ridge are older. In addition, sediments are thinner at the ridge. Rocks at the ocean floor are younger than those at the continents. Magnetic evidence in rocks or magnetic reversal is also called magnetic flip of the Earth. It happens when the geographic North Pole is transformed into South Magnetic Pole and the geographic South Pole becomes the North Magnetic Pole. This is due to the change in the direction of flow in the outer core. We can acquire a better knowledge of the Earth's mechanism by studying the theory of seafloor spreading. The plate tectonics theory, which underpins our entire knowledge of how the Earth moves, was born out of the evidences of seafloor spreading and the continental trip. It can be used to go back through time and observe how the Earth was in the past, as well as to predict 
what the future may hold for our planet. Ah! That's all for today, SciPals! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another Ah! Moment! Only here in Agham Alam Hub, Palajan's SciTech Portal. Bye!